Hey guys, Jen here from Maine and Suds and Such and Be Scented. I am getting ready to make my fresh raspberry soap. I am out and it's a good seller. Um, I have my show coming up next month and generally it sells really well during that show. So I am going to make it and I'm going to do similar to the last time. I'm going to do green, ap green apple bottom and white for the majority of the soap and then um, we are going to put some of these pinkish reddish jojoba beads in it. So this makes a nice scrubby soap but it's gentle. Jojoba beads are not rough. My paper towels are in the camera view. Let's move them out of the way. So I just added my hot lye water in here. Giving this a big, got a good chunk here of shea butter that doesn't want to melt. Generally my shea butter is the very last butter or uh, oil that will melt. All of the other ones go first. Coconut oil first as it melts at 76 degrees. I'm super excited because I don't have many soaps in my shop, so I'm very happy to get all this soaping done. I'm gonna clean my stick blender off. It's got some oils on it from the last batch on the bottom. Sometimes they stick on top. The but inside gets cleaned very well when you jazz it in the water, but sometimes the top doesn't. So let's add in our liquid oils. Throw that in there to be washed. Extra oil always sinks to the bottom. It's thick. There we go. Caught these sitting right there. Oops, I dropped one. Put it up. Okay. Now, gonna get my additives in here. our heavy cream powder. This is jo not just cream powder, it's actually heavy cream. Like if you would use it for coffee or whatever, you can actually reconstitute it. But I like adding it directly in like that. Colloidal oatmeal, or no, sorry, kale and clay. Oatmeal's next. This is our oatmeal. You can tell the difference in the color. I'm not sure if you can in the camera, but there is a difference. Oatmeal's got a little bit of a creamy color to it. Pour off 
for um, my bottom. I'm going to do about a cup and a half, two cups. Two cups it is. This is for our bottom. And I'll add fragrance to it here in just a second. This is our green apple mica. Add a little bit of fragrance. I'll do probably about a half an ounce in this and then I'll put the rest in um, the big portion. All right, let's give this a good judge. I want it set up for when I pour it in my mold. Or I want it to set up. off. Let me grab my mold. We're going to pour this in the bottom. And then I'm going to leave what's left in here to dollop on the top. Just going to push this over here out of the way. This part, I'm going to do titanium dioxide. We'll add in our beads. I'll see if that's enough. And then I'll add our fragrance here in just a second. Yeah, that's good. That's beautiful. Right. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I am going to add in the fragrance. So I need just over two ounces because I put a half an ounce in the other portion. Say that shush. She's barking at the mailman. So, yeah. That's gorgeous. Just using the stick blender to stir it in. It smells phenomenal. Mailman's not left yet, so why she keeps barking. She's like, if I keep barking, maybe he'll come over. She's never bit anybody, but she makes me nervous. <laughs> so, she can't be loose outside. She's got a lead. Of course, she has run of the yard, but she can't get to the driveway. And potential victims. <laughs> she's a German Shepherd, so she's very protective. Alright, so... I'm going to do this the same way I did the other soap, as in, oh boy, didn't mean to hit that. Um, 
gonna use this the back of this spoon to kind of help me pour it and kind of break you know the fall of the soap Sorry guys, I know I'm like all up in your way. It's a little bit more complicated to pour um, this way, but I know you guys can see better if I pour this way, so that's why I've been trying to do it. It's a little bit harder for me, a little awkward. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the rest of this end, this side is a little bit shallower than the other end. So we have the green bottom for the leafy part of the fresh raspberry. And then we have um, the white top with like pink raspberry colored Jojoba beets. I haven't used glitter, so I will be using glitter on this soap because it's just screams my name. <laughs> I totally missed and dropped that one on my table. Whoopsies. I'll just clean that mess up before I get it all myself. Clean my spoon off. Just kind of push it up a little. It will go down the middle. Just like so. I love the glitter puffers. All right, guys, that's it. We'll bring you back for the cutting. Hey, guys, we are back to cut the fresh raspberry soap. Cut the end piece off. Mm. Turned out really good. See that good? Wrong way. I 
the same. This is the top. Nice and glittery. It did get hot and see the started to crack right there on the top but I don't never worry with it because you can't really tell once the soap's cut the cracks really are not that big of an issue I know I've seen people get upset that they have a crack on their soap but I really don't worry about it Now, if it starts the volcano up out of the mold, then I might get a little worried. And I have had it want to creep up out of the mold before. All pretty much the same or not pretty much they all are except the top varies with each bar last cut and we'll do our end pieces and call this one done Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.